I'm going to use this nicely weathered palette to make a picture frame. So I'm going to tear it down, pull out all the nails, and then I'm going to cut these uh, boards to a width that will make a nice uh, size frame. Uh, so I'm cutting the whole length of the board, the width I want, and then I'm going to cover that cut edge with the board that I cut off. And I don't want it obviously that tall, so I'm going to cut that other piece uh, down a little bit narrower and use that for edging to cap the, the other piece. Once I've done that with all the boards, I'll cut the boards on 45 degree angles uh, to the length that I want to fit a pitcher. Um, so you want to measure that inside edge, get it where you want, and then remember to take off a little bit more, make it a little bit smaller than your pitcher itself. And also make sure you're cutting uh, your 45 degree angles so that the rough edge is to the inside of the picture frame. And then the first board I cut to length, I'm using it as a template to cut the second board so that they'll be the same and that my picture frame will turn out square. And then I've arranged them in a way that I think looks pleasing. And then I'm marking the corners. This is corner CC, AA, and all the way around. I then use a router with a rabbiting bit to uh, cut an insert for the glass and pitcher itself on the inside edge of the frame. You could probably get creative and use a table saw or a circular saw to do this too if you didn't have a, a router table. And then the strength of these joints is going to be in the wood glue. Um, so I'm going to pin those together uh, with a, I, I happen to have some inch and a quarter 18 gauge uh, finishing nails that I thought would be appropriate for this. It's really just what I had around. And then I'm going to clamp it up, put some nice pressure on it, and let that uh, wood glue cure. And then just wiping off the excess that squeezed out. And then I'll let it set up, and then I come back, take off the clamps, and then I start working on the uh, outside edging to cover the, the, the cut edge of the frame. Uh, when I had originally put this together, I noticed that all the boards weren't exactly the same thickness, so I'm knocking off the uh, edge after I got it nailed and uh, glued together so that all the corners are nice and flush and square and I don't have any edges sticking out. So following the same process of making the frame, I'm cutting the outside edge um, to go around the edge of this frame and using the, the frame itself to kind of give me a template. And then once I have those arranged how I want for the best fit, it looks like it's going to work out the best. I'll mark those edges too so that I can remember where they go when I get gluing and nailing. And I went ahead and ran a bead of wood glue along the edge and then um, I used a combination of just holding it with my hand and then, uh, or clamps and, and tacking it in place. Here I have some really small pin nails uh, that work good for this. And then uh, on these edges, making sure that my corners are flush with each other and one's not higher or lower than the other at the edges so it has a nice finished look. And then nail it all up. And then I had a few nails that, uh, you know, hit harder pieces of wood on the inside and that deflects the nail up and exposes it. So I cut that off with some dikes or some diagonal uh, cutting pliers. And that's really about it. This frame is ready for some glass. So I go to the local glass store and ask them for, uh, to cut a piece of non-reflective, non-glare glass for me. And it turned out really good. You can use some shallow pen head screws and some wire for mounting hardware. And here I'm just showing you, you know, a few other things I've made similar out of other frames. I framed a piece of sheet metal that was a nice magnetic board for a, a wall in our house to make kind of a command center. Used some heavier and light, lighter wood, cut to different thicknesses and whatnot to make various picture frames. And I think this one turned out nice too. I hope that inspires you and I appreciate you watching.